It's bad enough to surrender your pet to a shelter, but two dogs, Lily and Pinch, were betrayed beyond comprehension. In South Korea, the two dogs were no longer wanted by their family, so they were sold to a meat farm. Lily and Pinch were not given a chance to have another family. They were shipped right off to a meat farm to live in terrible conditions. Kelly O'Meara is the director of Companion Animals and Engagement at the Humane Society International. O'Meara said that dogs on a meat farm are neglected every day. They live in metal cages that are exposed and only get enough food to get by. In South Korea, the meat trade is legal. Happily, Lily and Pinch didn't stay in misery for too long. The farm where they were being held was on land that the owner didn't legally own, and all 35 dogs were freed by authorities. Lily, Pinch, and 29 other liberated canines were flown to America and found themselves at a shelter in North Carolina. All the dogs were examined by a veterinarian and given baths. Lily and Pinch, despite what they went through, are still both very sweet. Both are very well socialized, and the family that ends up adopting them will be very lucky. Each year, two and a half to three million dogs are slaughtered in South Korea. The Humane Society International has shut down five farms and saved nearly 525 dogs. Consider making a donation to the Humane Society International so they can continue to rescue dogs from the meat farms. Share away, people.